Gaming keyboards are everywhere, and you might find it hard to pick one out for yourself, but I have the Apex M750 from SteelSeries, and I'm gonna tell you why it's one of the standouts. With Game Tech, we break down the tech that drives the games you love, so do yourself a favor and subscribe to GameSpot for more of our content. Now onto the keyboard. First things first, the M750 is $140. Now that's actually a little bit cheaper than most full-size mechanical keyboards with full RGB lighting. But the most important part of a mechanical keyboard is the mechanical switches. Now the M750 uses SteelSeries' own... Oh, snap! <laughs> Damn! <Yeah. laughs> the QX2 is SteelSeries' own mechanical switch which is a linear switch similar to Cherry MX Reds. There won't be any tactile feedback and it's a nice buttery smooth keystroke. Look at that. And they even color coded these red so there ain't no confusion. The QX2 has similar specs as the Cherry MX Reds, 2mm actuation point, 4mm travel distance, and 45 gram actuation force. As someone who's partial to linear switches, the QX2 is actually one of my favorites because it's buttery smooth. But there is one thing you need to take note here with the M750 is that the keys are loud. Loud as fuck. Actually, they're not that loud, but they are loud. Now these aren't gonna be as loud as Cherry MX Blues where you can hear every single click, but these are louder than most linear switches and other keyboards that I've used. But as you can see, look at that pretty backlighting. You'll notice that the M750 has exposed keycaps, so you'll see the RGB lighting kind of flowing out through the chassis. So how do you get these pretty colors and these nice effects? Well, you use SteelSeries engine software that lets you program how these keys act and react. It's some of the best software I've used, especially with all the RGB options you get. Now, I won't go through all of them, but I love using the color shifting wave effect and the ripple reactive effect on top of that. The software lets you turn the backlighting into an audio visualizer and program a GIF's color palette to play out on the keyboard itself now these are just novelties, but other lighting features can be useful. For example, you can program a backlit reaction to certain things that happen in Discord, like a certain person disconnecting or hopping in a channel. The GameSense feature lets you program in-game events to a backlighting scheme. Now as a big Counter-Strike Global Offensive player, I mess with having my ammo, health, and armor count indicated through a color gradient. Of course this info is on the screen in the game, but it was neat to have those colors visible in my peripheral vision to remind me of the in-game situations. If you're someone who uses other SteelSeries devices, you can program all their lighting effects to work in unison. In terms of design, the M750 is built with an aluminum alloy chassis, which does two things for it. It's lightweight, lighter than most mechanical keyboards, and it's very durable, uh, but I can't really test that out because I don't want to break the keyboard. Do I want to break the keyboard? Throw it. I'm sure it's durable. I don't want to find out how durable it is because I like this keyboard. <laughs> we don't break things here at GameSpot. We should though. Oh. Now weight might not matter much for something you don't pick up to use, but it does let me show you the nice grooves and curves and the sleek design of the keyboard. Looks pretty sweet, huh? You'll notice this keyboard has a basic feature set. You won't have any macro keys you can program yourself and you won't get dedicated media keys, which is something I like a lot. Though, if you press down the function button, it'll highlight each key you can use for media, which makes finding the proper key a little easier. Overall, I like what the Apex M750 has to offer, but as a reminder, it is gonna cost you $140, and it only comes with linear switches. So if you're like me, who's really into linear switches and likes the feel of it, you'll feel right at home with this keyboard. If you're scoping out other mechanical keyboards, be sure to check out our video reviews of the Logitech G413 and the Corsair K68. And if you're not subscribed to our channel here at GameSpot, please do yourself a favor and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.